Acculturation, according to Merriam-Webster, is the cultural modification of a people by adapting or borrowing traits from another culture. That's a nice definition that says very little about the process through which the culture was adapted or forced to adapt. The Franco-Algerian War, also known as the Algerian War of Independence, lasted roughly from 1954 to 1962 and is widely regarded as one of the most violent wars of independence to date. In 1954, a guerrilla organization, the Front de Liberation Nationale, or FLN, was formed from a group of Algerian Muslims. Over the next couple of years, the FLN grew significantly, launching bloody uprisings and causing the French government to send in 500,000 troops. The back and forth of rebellion lasted until 1959, in the thick of the massive demonstrations from the European Algerians calling to merge Algeria with France. Almost immediately after Charles de Gaulle came to power in France in 1959, he declared that Algerians had the right to determine their future, not wishing to disgrace the French Empire so soon after the loss in Vietnam. Up until 1961, rebellions mostly came from the European Algerians, but ultimately ended in peace negotiations between the French government and the new government of the Algerian Republic, headed by the FLN. After over a century under French rule, an integral part of the French Empire, having first been occupied in 1830, Algeria was an independent nation. Having been such an integral part of the French Empire for so long, what was Algeria left with after gaining their independence? Read of French rule, what culture remained for the Algerians to claim as their own? And what influences were left as reminders of the invaders' stay? A question that must be raised to answer how Algerian culture was influenced by French colonization is how is culture made? Additionally, the question must be posed of what is culture? Dr. Asma Rashid positioned that to understand culture, one must take into context the environment that it is being defined in. And so, with consideration of Algeria in the time of post-colonization, culture cannot simply be defined by the arts, but also by underdevelopment, literacy, nourishment, and ultimately, efficiency. To understand culture and any changes in it, we must look at how society has changed from an individual level. Because according to Rashid, reducing the inefficiency of the individual is, in fact, reducing the underdevelopment of society. It is impossible to look at the influences of a culture without looking at school. The French did not colonize to rule. They colonized to civilize. Mission Civilatrice. The French mission to civilize to teach people and cultures that the French viewed as uncivilized the proper way to live. In the North African coast especially, there was more of this um, civilization motive, if you will, so that the French went in and they were just going to make the Algerians, the Moroccans, French. <laughs> right, so the goal was you know, teach them to speak French and, you know, behave like French people. And But it was more sinister than that because mm -hmm. the French um, also then identified the already existing elite. And those were the people they made French first, if you want really to think about it that mm -hmm. way. So they, what they really did then was um, co-opt the already existing indigenous elite and the, by that and in that way accentuate whatever political cultural economic differences were already present so that the elite, the elite then by you know sending their children to French schools and learning to speak French um, becoming the civil servants in the French colonial apparatus then of course got certain perks right their mm -hmm. lives continue to be comparatively good whereas then those who were certainly um, not the elite lower down the socioeconomic scale their lives continue to be miserable after over a century of inserting themselves into Algerian life culture is not so easily removed even after independence from France during colonization, French schooling and aims to civilize the Algerian people taught local language to colonists and French to the indigenous population, with a heavy emphasis on the latter. By denying Muslim Algerians French citizenship and privileges, self-expression in the language of Islam, 
that is Arabic, became a symbol of rebellion and defiance. And the French, in the wake of colonization, changed the entire school system of Islamic institutions of learning that consisted of the Kataba, the Madrasa, and the Azawaya to French-style institutions. French acculturation, as sinister as it may have been, ingrained itself into society seamlessly. A famous example of this is the children's book Barbar the Elephant, written by French author Jean de Brunhoff in 1931. Barbar, an elephant living in the wild, leaves his village for a life in the city. He learns to walk, talk, and even dress like the people do in the city. After years, he returns to his village as they are seeking a new leader. Barbar, the civilized elephant, is exalted and asked to lead his village. In overt representation of the French's desire to civilize, Barbar the elephant taught children that the civilized man, the French man, is destined to lead. By essentially creating its own hierarchy, through schooling and language, France was rooting itself in Algerian culture to the point that not even a revolution could remove them. This is evident through continued tension between the two nations. Dr. Mafud Amara said the damage caused by the violence of colonialism and decolonization have affected the raison d'etre, the Algerian sense of being. Confused and conflicted on what culture remains theirs and what lingers as a reminder of French rule, there can be no true definition of what Algerian culture is. History is a fascinating thing because it relies on storytelling, recounts of events, and ultimately, memory. Historical memory is especially interesting when looking at the French's impact on Algeria. Up until the 1990s, France refused to regard the Algerian War as a war at all. In 2005, a bill was passed to present a positive view of French colonialism in French schools. The bill was quickly repealed. 132 years is not so easily erased in schools, language, and ultimately in culture. The power to forget is not something that France has the right to do. Algeria, for better or worse, is forever changed by France's colonization and deserves the right to define their identity, an identity of Algerian and French culture alike.